What's going on, everyone? Nick Daniels here. Look at this fucking beast, man. Look at this, <laughs> Look at this animal. He's just coming at you. I love the shades and the skin, man. God, I, I just look disgusting. We're, uh, we're at the exact same spot, making the exact same series of videos here. We're going to talk about something related to the last one. It's going to be another job-related video, man. We're talking about the portfolio today, man. Well, <laughs> I don't know why. It just came in my mind today, and uh, while we're out here and while we're chilling, I figured we'd, uh, you know what we'd do? We'd shoot the shit. We'd, uh, yeah, we'd do that. Also, something notable, by the way, too. I love it. As far as the camera goes or gets closer, it'll never change because the microphone's up here, this little fucking thing. And uh, I don't find it really that noticeable, honestly, in the videos. It's good. I like it. Um, yeah, man. So, <laughs> the portfolio. So, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, and I hope you do, but if you don't, uh, there's this common superstition you're going to hear once in a while, especially if you go to community college. They, they, really, they really shove that down your fucking throat. Um, <laughs> not going to say about that too much there, but I'll tell you, they, they do. And I think that was a pile of junk um, from my, uh, the teacher that enforced that the most. She knows who she is. Um, <laughs> the blueberry. Um, basically, we had, we had a, an older teacher that was really a firm believer of the portfolio, and I just think it's a bunch of rubbish. And I'm going to tell you why. So yeah, the portfolio is usually, usually, um, some sort of like binder or something. It's got to look nice. It's got to have like, you know, like a leather casing to it or something. Like it can't just be like a binder from Dollarama. And that makes sense. You want to you want to have whatever your documents you're providing are presentable. And that's what it is. It's documents, right? You put, uh, you know, you, I don't know. You do, I don't think come to my mind is this fucking CPA program. But like, you know, maybe you did the CPA, you got, you, you passed. You, uh, you got your comp TA A plus certification in IT, like just shit relevant to what you're applying for. You put it in there, like you put a certification in there. You, you put in examples, like where you did this and you did that. Like I colored outside the lines once, like you put that in there. You put some like learning summaries in there. You write a novel, you write a little paragraph of what you learned, right? And what happens is when you walk into an interview and someone's talking to you about something. Now I'm gonna use IT because I have an IT background. So let's just say um, they're asking me about uh, computers and stuff like that. And I just whip out the portfolio and there's a picture of me building a server at home. Like a server, like a full server, like very expensive, very big, you know, whatever. Uh, many components. And I'm like, yeah, I, like, this is what I, you know, and, I, and you talk about it, right? You talk about the point. It enforces your point, um, right? Or whatever, right? It enforces that. Or it's proof if you needed to do so. Like if they, for some reason, didn't believe you had a diploma, you could be like, well, here's my fucking diploma, right? And you could just shove that in your face. Instead of having it framed nicely in the wall, you have it in a shitty portfolio. Um, you have like your resume, like uh, just a lot of it you're probably never gonna use. So what I'm telling you is I've actually never used my portfolio, but I brought it to a couple of interviews and I'm gonna explain what happened when I went there. So early in when I was, I make it seem like this is a long time ago. It's really not that long ago. It's like less than two years away. Um, but when I, when I first started trying to get IT jobs, I, uh, I, brought the, I brought the portfolio. I thought it was a fantastic idea because that's what the instructor said it was. And I quickly learned with real life experience, it really isn't actually. And why that is, is because I find, in my opinion, could be wrong, in my opinion, okay, I don't find um, like I'm as confident with the portfolio. Uh, and what I mean by that is I'm confident in myself. I can talk about something. I can talk about building a computer and I can just show it. Like I don't need to, you know, I don't need a picture to be like, hey, I did this. Or like, here's something to prove I did this. I can just prove it to you. Like I can just do it, right? And if I don't know how to do it, I'm just going to tell you. But I find like what I want, when I would bring the portfolio to an interview, I would never open it because I would never find the opportunity to do though. Um, because if they asked me about stuff, I was just like specific or I was confident enough in what I was talking about. And I didn't need, um, documentation to back up myself, you know, and I didn't need, like I said, I didn't need this do a tang, um, to, to show work and things like that. I can just, I talk about it and explain it. And it's not even like you're saying buzzwords, like, you know what I mean? It's not like you're saying, well, the, uh, the WAN connects to the DNS and, uh, DHCP, uh, is on my computer. You know, those are those are technical terms. They just obviously they, they're not in the right order. They don't make sense um, <laughs> the way I said them there. But you know what I mean? Like, it's not buzzwords. It's just talking about something confidently. Right. Like if someone were to say, like, oh, you build computers in your spare time and you just go, yeah. Like, it, you know, it does sound a little retarded. 
right? Like, you know, you're not really giving a whole lot of an answer there. You're trying to get the job. Like, you want to kind of explain that a bit. That's all you do, right? You know what? And you're just like, well, you know what? Actually, I really don't build that many computers, but you know what? I, I build them for people when requested um, and then bring up an example or something. And it's, it's just the perfect way to avoid the portfolio. I find bringing the portfolio is just a waste. It just, I've never used it. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Uh, I'm sure you do. And if you do, let me know. Comment it. But I, I really don't see the need. I, I've never, uh, I've brought it a couple times. Uh, and I think those were honestly, they were almost kind of mistakes. It was just extra luggage I had to bring in just like an extra two pounds I had, to, <laughs> I had to carry like, you know, I, not two pounds, but you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, extra weight. Yeah. It's just like, it's just completely unnecessary in my opinion to bring a portfolio to an interview, depending on the interview though, some companies probably actually do kind of expect it, um, or think that's a plus one. And I also think, um, this is just in my preference, but I, I still really believe that. But I do also believe it. Like, it definitely makes you look a little more prepared. Like, you walk in with a portfolio, you probably actually put some effort into where you're applying, right? Like, that's a big deal, right? It's like when people say that you got to, like, Google up the company and look into it. I don't bother with that shit either. I usually just come up with a generic answer of, like, well, I kind of did, but uh, I was hoping you guys could tell me a little bit more, you know? Fill, fill in the cracks, you know? And you, pu you put it back to their court, and then they, they just kind of explain away, because that's what they're going to do anyway. Right. They just want to see how much you actually looked into it. I've like never Googled any company. I don't fucking bother with that. <laughs> you know, I do sometimes actually, but I don't like, I don't actually like look at them. I'm just like, okay, what industry are they in? Okay. They do, they, they do tax done. Okay. Like they're going to be busy in March. Got it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just, like I said, I think the portfolio, it definitely looks confident. Um, like prepared, prepared would be the biggest thing. Like you, you look prepared when walking into a job interview if you've got that in your like tucked away in your armpit uh, but at the same time again I just I, I do I do kind of think that's a bit of a waste uh, because I've never I've never walked into a job interview and ever actually opened it like anytime I brought it it just sat on the desk I didn't mention what it was I didn't do anything I just sat there with it I know like sometimes like people say like you know like bring like a little piece of paper like in there like you write down some notes like on the interview like really Really? <laughs> you doing that? You writing notes? No, man. You look like a fucking fool if you don't get the job. Like, you're just like, oh, I'm going to write down some notes. And you just don't get it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Let me know. Let me know, folks. What do you think? But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer of the, the, resume, or the portfolio story. You can just pound sand. Um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's just a complete waste of time. Yeah, not much happening in that river, huh? Jesus. <laughs> it's like a bridge here, I feel like. I feel like a loon for taking it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. All right. Anyway, we're going to fucking retire here. We got some people out and about. People are looking on their back deck. I'm just, it just looks fucked um, <laughs> with the whole filming thing, especially on the stick too. They see the stick and they're just like, they really want to know now. It's like, God, fuck. Um, yeah. So anyway, like I said, probably a million times, fill me in. Let me know. What do you guys think? If you don't want to tell me, well, I'll go fuck myself. That's all right. I can do that. I can't. I haven't tried. But uh, all right. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Um, almost 540 subscribers as I'm filming this. That's that's honestly, that's exciting. PewDiePie better watch out, dude. Because he's getting, he's getting raped. See ya. Yo, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram here, I do a little bit of photography on the side. Uh, be sure to check it out. Nick Daniel 65 uh, Instagram.com. Uh, you can feel free to message me on there if you got any video ideas. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take it easy. Cheers.